Okay, good evening. I mean, uh, so many of you are still here. I'm really impressed at this time of the day. But the question really is, are you awake? Because what we are talking about here today and uh, every day, why we get up in the morning, it's no bullshit. We have some serious challenges for our planet and for the people, we, that are living on this planet. And there are no planet B. That is for sure, at least we don't know how to get there. So we have to fix what we have now. And to fix what we have now, I think the best of the SDGs is SDG number 17. About collaboration, about partnership, about working together as people, as organizations, as businesses, as governments, uh, we all have to share and we all have to collaborate and cooperate in order to find new technologies to solve the big challenges that we have for, for, uh, on our planet. In the Grey Group, someone has to say two minutes when it's two minutes left, okay? <laughs> um, in the Grey Group, uh, we will use sustainability goals number 17, the partnership to restore the oceans. We are not going to do it alone because that's not possible, but we have some key challenges also closely knitted to the ocean, and most of the companies that are in the Grey Group are close to the ocean. Shipping, transportation, fish farming, logistics, uh, ports, it's part of the portfolio of the, of the companies within the Grey Group. So we have worked for the last sort of three years with the SDG program. We have implemented it into the strategies of all the different companies uh, of the group. And everyone working for the Grey Group is being measured. We have KPIs. We have to deliver on the KPIs when it comes to how we develop our SDG program. And how have we done that? We have defined what we call our stretch goals. Uh, and we say that, okay, since we are close to the ocean, number 14, be life below water, uh, is the one closest to us. That's where we think that we have the competence, the technology, the possibilities, the innovation, power to make, uh, the, to make a difference. But you can't talk about the ocean without talking about climate. And unless we solve the climate, all the other SDGs or goals or whatever, we will not be able to, uh, to deliver on. So we've said in the center of this, this picture here, we said um, that we will deliver new solutions, new technology in partnership on sustainability goals number 13 and 14. And how will we do that? Uh, first of all, we need the best people. Uh, we need the best competence, the right competence. We need the change makers, those that really like change, because we need to change. We need people that are bold, that are courageous, and that really wants to be with us on this journey towards delivering on our very ambitious goals when it comes to our SDG program. Uh, and then we have to offer the best sort of environment for creating the best competence and the best organization. So we said we need to have uh, SDG number four as a core, where we are being measured, lifelong learning. So everyone has the possibility within the organization, wherever you are, to develop yourself and increase your competence within your field. Number five, of course, gender. We have to pick from the whole, the whole uh, population, not only from one part of it. So we are, uh, we are indexing, we are looking at how we are measuring and mapping uh, how we can deliver better on the gender balance within the Grey Group. And the last panel talked a lot about uh, the how to work with uh, balancing on gender. And uh, a lot of those things that were mentioned, we do as well. If we have the best people, 
then we have the possibility uh, of innovating, of driving the technological uh, shift that we have to see in order to get emissions down, in order to clean the ocean for plastic. We need new technology. And in order to do that, we need to have focus on innovation, which is SDG number nine. Uh, and, and in the, all of this, trillions of dollars are going to be invested into the new green shift in the world over the next 10, 20, 30 years. And we are 135 years old group. Uh, we have been around for 135 years. And I think that means that we, and we are still kicking, we are still around, and we intend to be around for next generations as well. And I think one of the reasons why we are still here is that we have had the ability over all these generations to, to see when change happens and actually act on it. And right now, we are in this type of changing environment. And it's so much fun and gives so much energy, and it really makes me get up in the morning because I know that by doing good, we can also make money and have our business uh, thriving for the next generations. And let's not kid about it. This is our future. It's your future. It's our kids' future, grandchildren. And we have to deliver in order to be able to look at a sustainable future. Thank you.